Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the shape editor within ArtCam Insignia. Here you can see I've just created a circle and I'm going to be using the shape editor to create shapes using this circle. Now the way to open up the shape editor is to either click here on the shape editor icon I could press F12 to open it up or I could just double click on the vector and that will open up the shape editor. So this is the shape editor and you can create domed reliefs, you can create beveled reliefs or you could create flat plane reliefs. So let's start off with a domed relief and I'm just going to click add and that will just create a domed relief so there you can see my dome that I've just created I'm going to undo that and create a beveled edge so this will create a cone shape so if I just rotate that round there you can see it's created a cone shape and undo that and I'm going to create a flat surface now with this you need to specify a start height for the actual height of the flat plane. So let's say 10 millimeters and add that. You can see that that's added a 10 millimeter flat within the vector. I can undo that and I can also use this while using the dome or the beveled edge. So I can add a start height so it will add a 10 millimeter flat and then create the dome. So if I add that, there you can see it's created my dome and it's also created a flat at the bottom of the dome. Undo that, do the same thing for the beveled edge. So there you can see it's created my cone and it's added a 10 millimeter flat on the bottom there. Now if I wished the angle to be different, not 45 degrees, I could type in my angle here, let's say 30 degrees, and then add that. You'll notice that the preview changes on the shape editor, and that's changed to 30 degrees. I can also select here, I can just move that up or down, let's say for instance 81 degrees and add that. So there you can see that's created quite a large cone for me there. Just undo that and I can also just go back to 45 degrees. I can also just click on the rule here and that will move in increments of 15 degrees. Let's draw a dome. I can also specify a minus figure so this will create a female relief so if I just add that there you can see it's adding the 10 millimeter start height and then created a female dome on the inside of there do the same thing for the cone or the beveled edge and add that so it would just create a flat and then create a cone on the inside. So I'm just going to set these back to 45 and 0. At the moment I have no limit on the height of my relief that I'm going to create. I could limit this to a height if I wished. So let's say for instance I wanted to create my cone but I only wanted that to be 15 millimeters high I could set a height of 15 millimeters there which it will limit to so if I add that it will chop off the top of the cone when it gets to 15 millimeters high so there you can see that I can do exactly the same thing with the dome but I have to set the height a little bit lower for that so if I just add that you can see it's just created basically a radius edge. 
and what I can do is let's say for instance I wanted to create a chamfered edge on a cylinder let's say what I could do there is to add a start height of 100 and let's say I want a 5mm chamfer around the edge so I can add that and there you can see that that's given me a cylinder which is 100 high and it's created a chamfer on the edge at 45 degrees it's 5 millimeters that chamfer is I could undo that let's say for instance do a smaller flat there let's say for instance 25 millimeters for the flat and I'm going to create a chamfer that's just one millimeter high so if I add that you can see that's created a chamfer around the edge there could do exactly the same thing with the radius so this will add a radius to the edge one millimeter so there you can see that's added a one millimeter radius there and I'm going to show you how to scale to a height now so I'll set the start height of zero and scale to height so the height that I want this to be at is 25 high so if I add that now this will actually scale that to the height so there you can see it's more of an egg sort of shape I can undo that let's do something a little bit more drastic so let's say 75 for the height so there you can see it stretched the dome out up to 75 could do exactly the same for the other shapes as well we also have constant height what this does it maintains the height of the shape to a specific value so let's say for instance I enter 5 and the start height is 50 if I add that then it will maintain a 5 millimeter height for the dome so I'm now going to show you the combined modes which are here so we've got add subtract 0 merge high merge low and zero rest I'm going to create some domes for this do a start height of let's say five and no limit so I'm going to add that and this is just going to create a dome and just add that onto the zero plane here so now that I've added that you can see that's created a male relief if I undo that and subtract it this will create a female like so so there you can see that's created a female relief now I'm going to show you the merge high and merge low if we go to the 2D view here you can see I've created a circle I'm just going to create another circle let's say here no particular size and there you can see I've created a circle now I'm going to use the shape editor on this as well I'm going to create a dome start height of let's say 5 millimeters, and this time I'm going to add it just want to show you what actually happens here so there you can see what it's doing it's adding the relief onto the zero plane but also adding it onto the relief that was created before so what I want to do with this is to merge high so if I undo that and this time I'm going to select merge high and this will blend the part into the original relief so there you can see that that's blending that in there okay so what I'm going to do is to show you the merge low tool so I'm going to create a rectangle here and I'm going to go to the 3D view and I'm going to create a beveled edge if I were to add this you can see all of the parts start to add onto this particular part so that's not the effect that I'm looking for 
I can undo that. I can merge high this. So it would just merge in onto the tops of these. I can undo that. And I can also merge low. So this will actually cut out the part within another part. So there you can see it's just cut out that groove within the second dome that I created. Now if I wish to just add something onto the top of that dome, let's say for instance if I created a polygon here and just go to the 3D view and I just want to add let's say a flat let's just say 2.5 millimeters I can just add that and that will add onto the top of that dome so there you can see that that's added onto the top of it now if I wish to cut parts away from this what I could do is to go back to the 3D view and let's say I want to keep the original circle and that's my boundary what I could click is zero rest and that will delete everything on the outside of that particular vector so there you can see that's deleted everything on the outside and it's just trimmed that off I could undo that I could do it the opposite way so if I click zero it will take everything out on the inside so that's basically the shape editor there are lots and lots of different functions within there and you can create a vast array of shapes by using this particular tool